Hey guys, it's Nando. I go by the Tattooed Reseller on YouTube and Instagram, and I'm a part-time reseller. And today, we're gonna do some serious garage sale shopping. Tag along. Good morning. Good morning. Is it okay if I look? Yeah. Thank y'all. Any idea if this thing still works? Yeah. Does? I just don't have the cables for it. Okay. What are you asking for it? $5. Sure. Uh, do we have another one upstairs? Okay. <laughs> Thank you much. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. Good luck on your cell. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful yourself? Uh, everything is negotiable. We just put a price to be able to work with. Excellent. Thank you. No <sighs> Could you do ten for this? Fifteen? Yeah. I'll do I'll pay fifteen. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Awesome. Well, good luck to you on your show, guys. Thank you guys. Good morning. Good morning. How much is this? Um fifty cents. Fifty cents? A dollar for Great. Let me for all of them, huh? Thank you. Thank you. Gracias. Good morning. Buenos dias. Cuánto por las botas? ¿Y los zapatos? Eso quiero 10. 10. ¿Esta? También en 5. ¿En 5? Bueno, esta sí se la compro. Sin, sin pelear. <risa> Cinco, 10, 5 son 15 y 3, 18. Sale. Gracias. Que tengan buen día. Mm -hmm. Que Dios los bendiga. Thank you. How much are the boots? Man. They're pretty good boots, man. Uh, I'll give you a price. Oh, Ellie. Ellie, get over here. Uh. Fifteen? All right. I have a couple hammer wrenches. Thank you, bro. Thank you, sir. How much are your boots? Um, $10, five dollars, I don't know, whatever you take me out. <laughs> okay. I could do five for these. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you. No. Oh! Oh! There you go. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I made you go through that. You. you have a good day. You. Good morning. How much for the backpack?
Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great night. You too. How you doing? I'm, I'm alive. Right on. Who's Captain and who's the boss? I would like one glass of lemonade, please. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> would you like ice in it? Please. I get some ice. So, oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> uh, hold on, let's see. How y'all doing this morning, man? Good, man. Look at that one. I don't know. Thank you. Good morning. Buenos dias. ¿Se vende esto o todo? Sí. ¿Y cuánto pide? A 50. Mhm. Uh -huh. Por cada una? Sí. Okay. Las dos son la Xbox 1. Ah, creo que uno es sí, los dos. Los dos es el lado digital. ¿Mande? Este es el lado digital, creo. Ok. Xbox 1, o digital, digital. Y esta es la del disque. ¿Y tienen los cables para esta? O? Para ese no, nomás los tengo para este. Ok. Pero bueno, le voy a comprar los dos, ok? Ok. ¿Se quiere llevar los juegos? Pues sí, malos. Sí, los... Ok, está bueno. Gracias. Gracias a usted. Muchísimas gracias. I don't care what you do. It's time for the joke of the day. What do you call man without a body here in the nose? What? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Good morning. What are you asking for the shoes? Five dollars. Cool. The hat? They got a chance for a 10? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck on yourself. Thank you. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Lo puedo prender para ver si, si, si prende y si prende, si se lo compro. Aunque sea nomás para conectarlo para ver a ver si está mero bajo, ¿verdad? Ah. Sí, sí, lo hizo. Sale. Yeah. Ok. Gracias. Voy a, voy a seguir viendo si, si está bien. Gracias. ¿Y las botas? ¿Dos? Gracias. A usted. Buenos días. Hola. ¿Cuánto por este? Y estos? Ten ¿Qué tallas son? Ah. ¿Es el pin de Coca-Cola? Sí. 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 Mira, Nelson, no le queda de la señora la culpa. Mm, sí. Ok. Yo dije: si no vende el pin, me lo voy a llevar. Sí, ya me lo compré.
beam. So I don't know. So 60. What are you buying? I'll buy it. You're buying it? Only has to 10 okay. and 10. 20. Yeah, 60. Oh, no. oh, yeah, I'll take it. Thank you much. Gracias. Hey guys, so it's been a couple days since the garage sale video, but now that I got time, I was able to pull it out and let me show you guys what I got. All right, so, so I apologize in advance. The way I'm gonna show it to you is just scrambled because I don't remember what order I was able to pick it up, but let's just start. Now, I do remember the first thing I picked up was this PS3 and the guy only wanted five bucks. Now, it didn't have no cord and no uh, controller, but he gave it to me for five bucks and I just ordered the cord and a controller. So when it gets here, I'll test it out and everything works fine. I should be able to get about 70 to 90 bucks for this. I picked up these little Michael Jordan baby booties. Uh, she only wanted 50 cents a piece. So I picked them both up and they both go for about 15 bucks. So I think I should bundle them together and just sell it for like 20, 25 bucks. And it should get, should I should be able to sell it quick. I picked up these three shirts. This is a Disney Parks uh, Spirit Jersey. This is about a $20 item. Uh, I got this, I got this Hard Rock Cafe Las Vegas. Pretty cool with the eagle on the back. Now I don't expect much for this one, about maybe 15 bucks. And, and I went ahead and picked up this uh, Nightmare Before Christmas shirt. Now this is a personal item. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one to my kid. She's obsessed with uh, Jack, so I'm gonna give that to her. I picked up these Tony Llama boots. Now, when I when, when you see this symbol right there, that means Tony Llama. I don't know how or why, but that means Tony Llama. And these boots usually are very expensive, but this particular boot, honestly, only goes for about 40 bucks. Uh, I think I offered the guy 10 or $15 and he accepted. So I'll still double my money. Now, I ended up picking this JJ Watt jersey and I don't, the only reason I did was because it was a salute the service. It wasn't nothing. It was a different jersey than what we usually uh, have. Now, I know JJ's not with the Houston Texans no more, but I, I'm sure there's still fans out there or people that want to uh, support the team and wear this jersey. I ended up picking up these white Nike uh, men's shoes. Now, I believe these things are called the uh, Court Visions, and I forgot what I paid for them. I'm going to say like 5 or 10 I don't remember paying much for them. 5 to 10 bucks now. The reason I, uh, now these go for about 30 to 40 bucks. So I know I didn't have to pay much for them. They're a little bold, but they'll be fine. I also picked up this Nike Air Max. Now I think she wanted eight or 10 for these. I don't remember. And I'm sorry guys. Like I said, it's been a couple days. So I think she paid eight bucks for these. Now this is a, a 50 to $60 shoe right here. That's why I picked them up. I just got to clean them maybe and give them a good oxy bath. Now over here, I picked up this Wayne's World hat. Now this is a personal item for me. I love Wayne's World, who doesn't? And so I'm just gonna figure I keep this. This is not for resale. I picked up these two uh, Swiss gear backpacks. Now they're identical, they're the same. They're, they're both for the triple protection for the laptop. I think she wanted five a piece. So I think I paid $10 for both of these. Now I should be able to get about 25 to $30 a piece. Just quick little bread and butter items. I ended up picking up these little little girl Aria boots. Uh, she said she wanted 10 and then she said, well, five, make an offer. Now, if they were women's, I would have paid 10, but because they were uh, young youth boots, I didn't pay more than five bucks. And I'm glad I did because uh, these things, I don't expect them to go more for about 15 to $20. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff. This guy had a bunch of shoes and these two were 40 bucks a pop. Now I did pay up for these, so I paid $80 for both of these. Now, these are the Air Max 97 Mahogany Mink Triple Brown, and these are $120 shoes. And then he also had these other Air Max. Now, these are the Air Max 90 Premium Wool Cool Gray uh, Mushroom Sneakers, and these guys are $120 to $140 real awesome finds right here i was stoked when i found these i was like i gotta pay up for them sometimes guys you have to pay up for items in order to get a big profit i don't mind spending 40 bucks to make 60. you know what i'm saying now i went to another yard sale and this lady had these uh these vans these uh may the force be with you vans now 
she told me these were hundred dollar shoes i knew immediately they weren't hundred dollar shoes because i picked these up before and um i didn't sell them because they kind of had like tears on them but these i'm keeping for me these are size 13 this is my size and i am a huge star wars fan so these vans are mine now this lady had these uh area booster here i think i only paid three dollars for them i only paid three dollars for them they're in okay shape they're a little roughed up but guys these these women boots right here are actually worth about 50 bucks so because of the condition they're in i should be able to listen for about 40 and uh just put in the details maybe put a good shoe polish on them but they're they're okay i figured for three dollars these things are worth it i also picked up these uh these Ugg boots, I love buying Ugg boots because they sell so fast. Now these are not in the greatest shape. They're a little old, but I think she wanted $4 for them. So these go about for about $25 to $35 in the condition they're in. Pretty cool. Came across this Bushnell scope. Now this is a 30, 30-9 by 40. And believe it or not, I paid, she wanted $20. I asked her, she take 10 and she said, I could do 15. So I paid 15 for it. And this is a 60 to $7 scope. All right, guys, now we're about to get to the really good stuff. Let me clear this out and bring it up and then I'll show you what we got. Stay tuned. All right, guys, are y'all ready? These are what I think are the heavy hitters. I'm gonna show them to you in the order that I think from least cool to coolest. So here we go. So first, it's this home theater system. Now the guy wanted 40 bucks and I had him test it out for me just to make sure it works. And it's all there, and this is a $145 bundle. Because it has all the speakers and everything is what makes it $145. So I gladly paid 40 bucks to make 100. And then we come over here, and I got two Xbox Ones. Now this is a regular Xbox One, and this is Xbox One S. And the guy won 50 a piece, and I didn't have them tested, but I should have, but See, uh, it don't, this one only has the power cord, so I had to order a power cord for this. So as soon as this one comes in, I'll test it because this one obviously has a different power cord. And he threw in all these games, but each one of these is $150 to $170 system. Now it doesn't have, and that's without the controllers, just the uh, system alone. I don't know what this is. I believe it's like a, like, I don't know if it's like a camera, like a connect thing, but I'll go ahead and throw that up in there. So $300, $100 for, to make $300 okay now i think this is the coolest find of the day not the find of the day but the coolest find of the day it is a limited edition wizard of oz ornament set it is a collector's edition it's 2851 out of 5000 this is from someone named kurt adler okay and it is uh it is insane okay let me pull it let me show you guys all right it is very very well wrapped very taken care of really neat the lady knew what she had here she she said she said she looked it up and she's like it's a 150 dollar item i let it go for 40 and she knew what she had so because of that i i wasn't gonna haggle with her plus i've been to her garage sales before so she remembered me she knows that i'm a reseller so she was gonna get top dollar out of me now for the find of the day believe it or not it is this a Rollins baseball glove. This is a Heart of the Hide golden glove. This is profitable, I believe they call it. This is a Derek Jeter baseball glove, gem, And this is a $200 glove. I got it for $10 from the same lady that sold me this. So I don't think she knew what this was, but for, in great condition, this thing is a $200 glove. Now I know it's missing a little string right here, but I'm still gonna list it high and have someone talk me down. Baseball season's right around the corner, if not already starting, so this thing should sell fast. But that is it for this video, you guys. If you'd be so kind enough to hit that like and subscribe for me, I would greatly appreciate it. And here's your daily reminder that you look great. Bye.